Hello everybody, welcome to Total Blood Bowl. <laughs> With a red from Elk meme, thanks. Um, so up against these Amazons here, he's got a Pom Tackler. He's got six guard total, because his ball carrier has it. He's got three tackles total. He's got a sidestep and two stand firm. Um, it's a pretty scary team. He's got a strength up. 13 players. Um, great record. So, yeah, I'm pretty worried about this. I think this... And he's got a wizard as well. So I think on teams, it's very close. In fact, I think he has the advantage on teams. on Purely on teams. Um, and they've got a strength... I mean, to be fair, got two strength four. Got the move ten. But he's not. He hasn't got sprint or show sure feet, so it, like a sprint would have made such a difference. I uh, got some blodge and some rog and like one tackle, two guard. It's like it's a good team. It's not the best record, but it was enough. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be very tricky. But I'm going to try and try hard. And with me is I'm, so I'm, I'm going to try hard. So I'll get rid of myself. There you go. And then we've got purple chest and elk meme doing the commentary. Should be a great one. And uh, there you go. Tschüss. Well, Thank you very much, again. Jimmy. Really looking forward to this one. We've got, a couple, as you said, a couple of cracking teams with some great records. Uh, two very, very uh, conflicting styles. Neither really that well set up to take out the other one. Uh, Jimmy, very concerned about the wizard, obviously, and about just the number of uh, Amazons that are going to be on the pitch. I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. Um, anything could happen in the next hour and a half. Yeah, next hour and a half indeed, you know, it's a CTL, so three minute turn times, I think, in the Chalice. Mm -hmm. Could be here for a while. And of course, Elves, the thinking man's race. You, you can't just bang out your moves on Elves, there's a lot of thinking involved. But, yeah, I mean, overtime is a possibility as well. Uh, with a lot of AV7 pieces on the pitch, that, that could get pretty brutal. Could be some swings and indeed some roundabouts. Oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> it's crucial to note, but they are roundabouts that can accompany the swings. Any well-equipped park will have both. I know roundabouts, they changed, didn't they? I don't know if you ever noticed that, but they, they changed. Yeah, they seem to fill in the middle bits um, and then put yeah. great big soft tarmac all the way around it. So and when you swing them extremely fast and the child comes off, it doesn't hurt itself as much. Have you seen the little tiny roundabouts? You can get on some fucking speed on those. They're, uh, yeah, don't... Yeah, you don't want to put those kids on there. Yeah, they're more uh, sort of spinning evils, aren't they, than a proper old roundabout. Um, yes, yeah. I mean, my, my children were young not that long ago, uh, probably roughly when you were. So, no, your kids are a lot younger than me. I'm, I'm 30, my dude. But So, yeah, you would have it, seen these small... Because I was wondering, will you have seen the tiny... Because they changed everything to sort of plastic stuff in playgrounds, didn't they? And uh, it looks quite tasteful-ish for the first couple of years. Yeah. But that being said... I mean, it's not particularly relevant to what we're doing, but actually it's the not... borough of London I live in, they were very good at, uh, at the parts swapping the play equipment around every couple of years. So even if you just went to the one park, there was always a good variation of variety. That's oh, because what, the... what they're doing, PC, obviously, is sending the old disused stuff up north, where it is yes. brand new to them. Yeah. Yeah, where it belongs. Absolutely. Right, so, so uh, already we're seeing Jimmy here. He's kicking. He's gone with the offset line of scrimmage. Uh, very popular on uh, on Blood Bowl 2 at the moment, that. Uh, I've said yep. before, not entirely sure why. A lot of people seem to, to pull it without really understanding what they're trying to achieve with it. But also, similarly, a lot of people don't really know what its strengths and weaknesses are when facing it. He's gone with the uh, the rule of five, the uh, the lovely boat behind it, of course, slightly to the side oh, of the yeah. offset line of scrimmage. The Viking short ship, you know, only five long. You could fit a lot more men on a long ship, so... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to push for, isn't it? Renaming that to the Viking short ship. You've got the sail up top. Yeah, um, I like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't I'm like, like the, the, the concept of rule of five, because it's not a rule, it's a suggestion. It's uh, an idea, and it certainly isn't a rule to me. It's no, useful yeah, at times, but not useful at others. The thing with the rule of five is it's more along the lines of you've got five players that you want to protect at all costs. These are your teams. Mm. It's like it's a rat thing, right? It's a massive yeah, rat absolutely. and an elf thing, but the rule of yeah. five... But it does protect them, you know, from one turn, from one blitz, unless they're fast enough to get around the back of it. So it's, again, yeah. I, I just, I don't love the idea that people think of it as a rule. Oh, we start with a big old pitch invasion. Oh, happy now, we didn't that. point that out, but the fame did go to Jimmy Fantastic with a plus one. So, of course, we're seeing three ladies down, only the one elf. One of the huge swingy things about pitch invasions, of course, is that those ladies will be up a long time before the elf is. Um, they lose their first turn, but as they are driving, um, you know, they've got the chance to get a position that takes care of that. And then next turn, they are all active again. 
But only one but down on Jimmy's team means he does have that advantage. I wonder if we're seeing him try and push into the backfield, try and take the, make those numbers count in the one turn he's going to get to do so. Yeah, I think I think if you're Jimmy here, you do push forward. Um, obviously, see what happens. You know, failed pick up and stuff like that's amazing. The LRS blocks aren't affected by this, of course, because of the guard. Um, yeah. So that's I mean, there is, if there is one thing these Amazons lack, it is a plus agility piece. They are picking up with a one in nine fail. Oh well, that's. I think that's a really positive, really strong positive for Jim there. Then. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's similar to Dwarves, right? When you get the runner that has the um, the eight edge four, it's so fucking difficult to deal with. For... Yeah, really, really helps. Yeah. Um, it's why kickoff return is such a, a key skill on a dwarf runner. Uh, yep, yep, I can see that. Even, even if you're not picking up with it, just to get more numbers around that possible ball fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, just so the, we um, do get an elf removed. Yeah, just a one arm break, but straight into a KO. Um, mm -hmm. The only actual knockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, the other two were pushes, so there's a lot of elves up and active. Uh, hence, we're seeing a reinforcement of this little screen in front of the ball pickup. It does work straight on with a five, but still some places to maybe get between these few on the line of scrimmage and those few defending the ball. And put enough threat on the ones that are standing up. Remember, these Amazons fail everything on a one in nine. Really not impossible to see some of those happen on a first action, let alone a second or third. I wonder if Jimmy's going to go aggressively for that. I mean, he could go really aggressively for it with his catcher, but the problem is, it's armor seven into a backfield that's got a tackle and mighty blow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and and hence it's. I think that's why we've seen him pull, you know, two mighty blow pieces, and as you say, the tackle mighty blow back. Though that tackle mighty blow is AV six, it's going to have to be used carefully. Sorry about that. Just uh, catching a bit of aggro from the from the misses. Yeah, Necropotent, so that, that's right. You know, he did still get those three line of scrimmage hits, but um, of course, you know, two pushes and only one uh, KO. Not really what he was hoping for there, I'm sure. No, and the, I in say, the presence he, of... I'm assuming most Blood Bowl coaches are male and Croupy 222. I don't know that for certain. Perhaps we should start using they. We should. There probably wouldn't be any harm in going gender neutral, would there? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Is, we'll see how deep he pushes here. Yeah, that's uh, that's a nice big hit on that uh, strength four. One of the pieces I know Jim's worried about. Oh, the armor break as well. Fantastic. Out for a turn. Yeah. Can apply a bit of pressure here. Of course, I didn't spot Jimmy's strength four myself. Um, so, yeah, I, I was quite concerned about that. Especially with the stand firms. Oh, it comes a massive pain in the ass. But his yeah, strength I mean, four... Jimmy has two strength four and the Amazons have one. So uh, it's going to be interesting, that little battle. He is pushing right up onto these Amazons. And notice that the assist he put in on the strength four is also controlling one of the uh, pitch invasion pieces, as is the assist he put in. I know it failed, but the assist he put in on the uh, the stand firm guard. So already two of those downed Amazons, you know, they're standing up with a one in nine to go anywhere. This is great, though. This is great. Like you've, mm -hmm. I mean, sure, we're worried about the, the the double plus movement guy getting slapped, but he's got so many people down there now. But... Yep. And there he is. That's the third Amazon controlled on the floor as well. Very few easy moves without any risk for the Amazons here. And as you said, that fast piece has gone, you know, where it can fetch a ball and get an instant score, but also where yeah. it's slightly screening a move to the side. It's uh, looking really good here. Really promising. Um, he does have a very, instant... very aggressive opening from Jimmy at a time where he can afford to do so. I'm loving it. He's got, the, he's got the strength four there. That's not an easy hit, is it? Then he's got the guard assisting. Yeah, this is, this is difficult for for Croupy 222, triple two. Very difficult here. Do yeah, no, you I'm, perhaps, if you're the Amazon coach here, entertain the idea of, fuck it, I'm going to go for a bit of damage. I'm going to semi-protect the ball, but this drive's lost. And if I lose it fast, then fantastic. And uh, no worries, I reset. I try to equalize. I've got the wizard for his half. I certainly don't think I'd be throwing the wizard in. Um, no, 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 you're not going to use the wizard now, but it's it's thinking later on in the game. Yeah. I've got a wizard to use. Uh, the exactly. Not the, there's there's no. still ways to turn the elves over. I mean, the problem is a wizard just isn't that great against elves. Um, no, I mean, obviously, it's it's, a bolt is lovely against oh, anyone, but elves just pick it up on someone else and run off and laugh at you. Yeah. So there we are. Jimmy tying up yet another one of the Amazons with a one in nine fail to go anywhere at all. There is now a grand total of one Amazon that can move freely. And even she has a range of about two squares before she's having to dodge herself. 
If it was fantastic. me here, I'd be pulling to the Amazon left. Uh, I think the writers we're watching on Jim's yep. stream, of course, we're watching yep. from behind him. I know there's that downed piece, but the, you know, using the stand firm guard, that gets a nice blitz on the wrestle piece. Um, and that's sort of the area I'd be trying to stabilize around, but it doesn't look easy. I might even try and come through that piece with the tackler, and then I've got the block piece and the tackle piece to stand up and screen. And then if everything else fails, at least I've got some sort of screen up next to the ball carrier. But Jim's created a lot of threat here. Of yes. course, those Amazons standing up don't really hold the elves in the same way that the elves hold the Amazons. That's a 1 in 36 for the elves to move, as I'm sure everyone knows. Whereas, yes, like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's only a 1 in 9. On your the numbers. Yeah, the elves. Yeah, this is... Fuck, yeah. Yes, Skytel, you're right. The ball carrier is free, too. Um, where's it going to go? I mean, the elves can hunt it down anywhere. They've got the pace. They've got the agility. Really, what the Amazons need to do is to be the orcs in this matchup. People have probably heard me say before, are you the orc? Are you the elf? Well, here the elves. Oh, elf God, the not this again. <laughs> yeah, the elves are the elves, and the Amazons are the orcs. Yeah. He's got it does look like that, he's going to... That mighty blow guard guy. Yeah. You'd sort of imagine he wants dodge now, right? But... Yeah, so as I said, I, I think I'd be blitzing with the rackle piece through that... Uh, through the wrestle lineman, and then try to also oh, yeah, recover yeah. the... just the blodge yeah, line woman the and the tackle piece. Yeah. Right. No, he's going... Okay, he's trying to come through the... Oh. Yeah. Well, gets the pow, so that's going to free up another Amazon. But not the one that's done the hitting. I worry that might not be enough. Yeah, so slightly conservative there. Good to get the tackle off. Um, it's not even conservative, really, is it? No, I mean, it was. Uh, I, I think it's more your plan. I think it was just trying to chip that AG, that strength four piece, which, you know, would have been a lovely, you know, turn of the events, but. It was actually not going that way, did it? Um, no. So Jimmy's MA9, is it? MA9? MA10? MA10. MA10? He's not out of the action here. No. He's, um, it's very hard to be anywhere on the field for his out of the action. Um, if Jimmy has a weakness, you know, talking about some of the Amazon weaknesses, if Jimmy has a weakness, it is lack of guard. Um, he's got one. Uh, and it's got two, two in fact, but they're, they're both two, yeah. slightly over the same side of the pitch. Now, they are in range, but uh, some sort of screen could keep them off this ball, which I guess is trying to be in an eye cage. I'm being he generous. Does, he does, of course, have the 1D with Resson. Yeah, of course he does. And if he can... Oh, me, if he can jam a guard in here as well. And there comes that 1 in 9 I talked about. You did. You predicted the one in nine. He, of course, was going to have to roll a bunch of them and yep. not work out from him. I think that was only the first or second one he tried. It went down. Looks like the one D not, sack might be on. Yeah, or maybe not it's, a great not, it's not on. Here. It's not on. The one D sack is not on. Well, you can always dodge away with an elf. Uh, I hear that's a thing. There is that. Yeah, there is a little unknown aspect of elven gameplay. And it is only two two pluses to put the guard in beforehand, making it two die. Not with, that's why the Amazon took the push there, slightly closing down the window for the uh, the guard that's still back behind the line of scrimmage to go through that gap. So well, instead, it's go. coming, yeah, coming around the outside, trying to get this uh, assist in this way. Oh, it's thinking about the strength four, isn't he? But a guard. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought the two two pluses to put the guard in and then the third two plus to get the rackle round, the wrestle round for two die with a wrestler was the way I would have gone about this turn. But I'm sure Jimmy's got a plan. Got a plan. Bang on AV6. That no, may well be plans. the plan. Yep. There we go. It pays off. Gets his oh, beautiful. <laughs> and gets his chip. He is down. Oh, the Apo is out and it's just a no cares. Uh, nice to see the Apo gone though, but always underwhelming, yep. isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not sure about apothing uh, and a serious injury in this level of gameplay. I'm also not sure about throwing an apo at an AV6, which yeah, it's just going to die again, isn't it? It would be actually pretty poetic if Jimmy was able to slap out again in this very game. I, I'm, 
I would put some money on it. I mean, Jimmy will target that Pete ruthlessly because it's it's dangerous to him and it's an easy removal. Okay, so he is just choosing to put pressure on. Um, I mean, again, the Amazons very little option as to where they go. Yeah, massively outnumbered on that on the right hand side of the pitch, or yeah, yeah Jimmy's right rather. Shame there's yeah, no compass because so... we can't say north and south, can we? No, just there's in no case cardinal. there's a. Yeah. Just in case there's a side swap, it doesn't look easy to do. Goodness knows, but in case there's a side swap, Jimmy's trying to put Jimmy's trying to put some uh, some cover in over that other side of the field. Here we go. Looks uh, looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a very very strong position, but I do think he could have taken the ball that turn if he really wanted to. However, chipping that uh, that very dangerous AV6 is going to make him feel really really positive about how the rest of this half goes. I suppose you sort of same boat as. It's not a bad thing for the Amazon guy to go down a touchdown really early in his drive. So Jimmy yeah. maybe doesn't want to be scoring immediately. It's yeah. The same thing. It's yeah, there could be some tick tacks at play. Out there, isn't there? I, I, I mean, I, I see the only real option here is trying to pull back into the you know the first half of your own half and stabilize somehow, and then push forwards later. There, there is some space to go backwards. There is, but he's got, oh, Jimmy's got a guard there, hasn't he? Yeah. I don't know, yes, we'll, see, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Oh, Armour 8 holding up there. Lovely. Yeah, that's... Barely uh, enough to break a Halfling's armour, is that, you know? Certainly a piece Jimmy does not want to lose, either for the match or for the Chalice run. Are there any uh, bribes in play or anything like that? Or is it just the wizard? No, just the wizard. Uh, that's mm -hmm. pretty much all that there was. And as I said, the fan factor went, uh, the fame went to Jimmy. Jimmy still has his apo. If anyone joining us late, the uh, the Amazons have already used theirs on uh, a rather sexy, very dangerous, but AV6 blitz piece. Yeah, I, I just, you, you just, I don't know about the apo on that guy. No, I think it was terrible. But, yeah. um, you know, I, I understood it. It is a piece that can do some damage to the elves, and perhaps that's you know mm -hmm. a big enough priority. Now, I think the Amazon is to get people stood up. In which case, why the hell aren't they standing up? But this does not look like an easy place to stabilize. Again, I suppose we're going to try and dodge the strength four out and I cage it. But oof. the F six, of course, is of course one of. Um... One of the Amazons only free tackle, so yeah, there's that element at play as well. Yeah, absolutely. First re-roll of the half spent, and it worked. Why wouldn't it? it is a uh, one in six for it to fail? Yeah, there you go. here's a foul. That's... No bribe. I I spoke about this. I considered, and well, they've got the numbers. It's it's Ooh. not foolish. Only two assists. It's not worked. No ref didn't like that at all, and not even an armor break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, looking. Is that a guard piece next to the guy Jimmy's blitzing here? Because if he does, he's got an instant two D on the board, hasn't he? He has. Yes, he does. With tackle. Oh no. Yeah, it's it's that needed at least a stun. Yep. Or as I said, you know, the strength four had to come out and reinforce that whole area, but it. Didn't. Oh, you fucking love to see it, and he's away. Yeah, the uh, the just casual six plus catch there. The MA10 to come down and screen, just oh, here we go. Yeah, Jimmy, this is probably chuckling. This, this drive is done. Not wanting to use the MA10 as screen, which is. Reasonable. Well, look, remember, there's always a whiz. As long as he's sensible enough, uh, I think Elp has a good point. If he's sensible enough to let this go this half and try and uh, get a full team back, get some danger on the elves and use the whiz to turn them over in the second half, I think that's a better bet to reach uh, overtime than to throw the whiz away here and trying to, trying to rescue a dead drive. Sure, he's gone for the fake cage. We saw this go to great success in a game he had during the CCL against Norse, I believe. Actually, maybe it was Dio I was watching. But he did two cages, and the opponent. We the opponent are planning to have a look at cage. that. Uh, yeah, we are planning to have a look at that game right after this. Help. So. Um, that wasn't, a playoffs, that okay. wasn't a playoffs game. Yeah, okay. Wasn't see. a playoffs game. Yeah, wasn't a playoffs game. Yeah, that was just a normal CCL game. Uh, okay, I, I slightly misheard as I was uh, yeah reading the chat. 
Yeah. Um, I don't agree it's a good game just yet, Goblin 6. Certainly the drive's over. Um, I mean, Yamazan needs to be dropping the GG. There's no fucking question there. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't call it GG just yet. And I'd be looking to uh, just get some damage here. Uh, take a couple of elves out. Fucking I mean, fireball the fucking you... thing if you're pissed. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. You know, there's, there's some stuff you can do here. We'll see. That, you know, maybe that's more of a CCL play than a Chalice play, you know? I mean, I, I think you do want to try and put some pressure on this. I'd try and push them to score in six, maybe five. Give yourself two turns back. But, I mean, Amazons are not really quick enough to take a lot of advantage of that. They're not, no. We're really actually getting into the point where it's quite scary for the Amazons. Uh, yeah. Like, you can't really reset a drive with four turns to go. That's tough. Movement six. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's doable on six, but you're right. still tough. Um... Three, very tough. Two, starting to look like any well-played defense should be able to stop you. Yeah. And then, of course, Jimmy has the one-turn attempt, doesn't he? So he's... He does. Yep. Ooh. You, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's an argument here for... Although, as you pointed out, you know the, the Amazons do have two stand firm and a sidestep. So it's by no means easy to one-turn against that, but it's it's possible. Jimmy would much rather not, though. Um, you know, going 1-0 up here with the ball in hand is very much what Jimmy would have wanted to see. It's very nice. Powers his blodge. Never never happy about seeing the blodge get power. Yeah, that's... Arm um, broke just uh, to stun, though. That's, that's fine. Deep side relief there. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, the, the I mean, it's not a huge worry with the position, but I guess the slight worry there is one less elf that can come back and screen this ball. But that still leaves... Three elves, including the four elves, including the ball carrier right now, that can move without any threat. Oh, I think Jimmy's got a really rather academic. He can just plonk the ball on top left, um, and yeah. no Amazon can reach him apart from maybe the movement guy. But yes, inconsequential really, because um, he can still protect it. Yeah, this is this is fine. He's as I said, he's still got now four pieces that can move without having to dodge. And then there's a 2 plus to put a 5th one in there, and then a 3 2 to put a 6th one in there. There's plenty of elves to stall out till the end of this half if he wants to. And considering that Jimmy Ernani has 1 KO and it's a trash piece, um, I think stalling out to the end of the half appeals to me. Well, considering the uh, the pass here to get the score on the movement movement 10, but it's going to take a long time to level in. I don't think this is the point at which you start considering yeah, those players. Yeah, exactly. 20 <laughs> SPP away is a long, long time, isn't it? Um, <laughs> He may well hand it off. You know, it's a, it's a 1 in 36 fail. And if he's got the stall, if the elves do just fall to hitting uh, and give him absolute freedom and space, then I could see him trying that. Okay. Ooh, he's going to have to throw the reroll at that. Yep. But that gives him another 2 plus to get yet another elf out and back involved with this screen. It's so there's the four that had the boost. Oh. Yeah, I mean the other one. Not, not use not use dodge there, and because his his opponent might have tackle on automatic, he might not have. He might have money. There's there's always a small, very small percent chance that they misclick or they don't use tackle. So I think you have to always choose to use dodge in those situations. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's a good habit to be in anyway, because if you do plan to use a reroll on it, it doesn't. Oh let yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. haven't selected dodge, um, so that's I'm, one of yeah. the more infuriating things about. How Blood Bowl it caught me out when I was when I was young, fresh to the game. I uh, still am relatively fresh, all things considered, but playing rats and I thought, oh shit, yeah, he's got tackle, I can't re-roll it. Yep. Chose to not dodge. What do you mean I can't use a team re-roll? Quite unhappy. Yeah, I mean it's on my list of things I don't like, but it is frankly quite a long list. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it is. I mean that said, um, it's you know it's a very pretty looking client. Uh, it, it mostly it, functions nice. well. So yeah, there's yeah. some things that are good about Blood Bowl 2 too. I'm not a hater. No, not at all. All things considered, it could be a lot worse. Mm -hmm. Blood Bowl 3, I'm, I'm still hopeful, despite everything so far. I still hope, uh, you know, the fact that Cyanide in uh, in Jimmy's chat, I think it was, uh, I asked a couple of key questions and they, they were very happy to answer. And one of the ones they answered was that we may get a PC-specific user interface. That's not decided yet. They're not going to guarantee it, but that it's certainly being looked at. Oh, no, I think we can all just... tell, looking at what we've seen so far, that the interface is designed for, for yeah, Twitch. That... Uh, no, for Switch. For yeah. Switch, yeah, it's a standard standard Getting thing. My young um, people think it's confused. Yeah, I, I heard that. It's uh, 
yeah. I don't know anything about that sort of thing. My daughter's very well, interested. It's, it's so you, you get the Xbox, say, you know, let's take it back to the mainstream consoles. You get the 360, and you get the PS4. I mean, all now on to the, the, the more advanced consoles, right? Xbox One yeah. and all that sort of shit. But what they do is if they're developing a multi-platform game, they'll develop it for the weakest system. And then the other systems might get an extra graphical option, like i.e. more anti-aliasing or something. But it's yep. always, a multi-platform game is always hamstrung by the specifications of the lower Right, so no, you design you design for the yeah. what the, what can do the least, and yeah, then you, design, you, you can yeah. upscale a bit elsewhere. That makes sense. That yeah. that yeah, that's logical. Okay, so he is pressuring this stall, which is great. If he can give himself three turns, if he can force Jimmy over, there's a chance the Amazons can get to one one. There's a small um, chance. I don't think Jimmy's got any chance of going far right here, has he? Um, no, I mean it's not now that the uh, the plus move piece is taken down. I mean, what he really needed was those two that had the the. You know, two pluses to get away. If both of those had got back into this screen, I think there's a really good chance Jimmy could have stalled it up all the way. Right now, I think he's probably going to have to pop it in. It is looking an awful lot like that, I think. Um, I know his... his yeah, Sean, you, you're right. An interface just for me, like those uh, those big chunky handles they put on things for uh, for the aged. It would be nice if they thought that some of us are not, you know, 29. Not till Sunday when I have my birthday. So Jimmy oh, does, takes that advance. one more hit and bobs it over the line. Well, here's the funny thing about, you talk about playing on a PS4 of a controller. The funniest thing was, so PC CCL was um, three minute turns forever, right? Yep. But the consoles with the weaker thing for interacting with the game and they're slower when playing the game, were on two minute turns for all of that time. Wow. And then when they did the swap, they swapped the three minutes on the PC, uh, two minutes on the PC, and they did the inverse. They gave the consoles three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's. Uh, I'm sure both yeah. of them were thrilled with that. That's a, that's a big change for them. You're right. It is much slower on a controller. I hear though. Rick Reckless plays on a controller to save his poor little fingers from that clicking. Uh, and seems <laughs> yeah. To excellently well with it at the moment. So perhaps again, I'm just old and used to clicking a mouse and W S A D. -ing. That's good. I find I get hand cramp with most controllers over time. Um, I think I was looking away from the mic there, so you probably didn't hear what I said, but yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree. I think anything you're doing too much of can lead to some RSI and to some cramp. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an issue. Not for Jimmy, though. He's got a brand new gamer mouse off the back of smashing his mouse last ECL. Um, well, it, so... it fully deserved it, didn't it? Yeah, I've let him <laughs> it down did, one yeah. too many times. He has got a gamer mouse now. Uh, lights up, different colours. He told us probably. I don't know if it's a uh, an Asus. I think Asus has in-game interaction with Blood Bowl. There's a menu option you can tick. Um, I'm not sure if it's one of those. Could well be. I think it's Logitech actually. I think that's what it is. But here we go. We've got a nice little setup here. Amazon's hoping to get forward and score in free. Yeah. Um, so this time we're seeing. Uh... A really interesting setup from Jimmy here. Instead of the offset, he's gone central, but pushed them slightly wider apart so that no Amazon that's on that line of scrimmage can move without at least hitting an, an elf first. So that's all about controlling and limiting their, their move maneuverability. Um, he's got some uh, some dodge pieces on the outside of this. Not fully wide. Oh, he's got oh. the blitz. Oh, and, and he's the got a blitz on top well. of it all. And into the golden blitz square for elves. Oh, you fucking love to see it if you're Jimmy. He's... From a, from a season he retired in to a last minute sort of run, last few days, last seven days, he made a run of this high off team. Yeah, oh, he's fell in fucking love with happy. the uh, happy withdrawn offense, which even at 1 0 up, of course, it's not really a withdrawn offense if you never plan to move forwards, but he can just turtle up and sit through the second half if he wants to, uh, particularly if he can secure this ball. I think there's no question he's going to secure it here. It's catcher. It's very, very likely. Two plus, two plus, isn't it? I mean, if it was one square to the side, there would be a chance that a failed catch might bounce out. But it, this is, yeah, this is, uh, it's a three plus on the elf. So it is a one in nine. Oh, it's a three plus, yeah. yeah. Yes, I think, called, it counts as right. inaccurate, of course. But, um, you know, catch does pop that <laughs> three plus to a, a one in nine, as I said. So, yeah, incredibly easy to make, to, uh, to think the elves are going to secure ball here. And as Cy Tallum says, Catcher is now in scoring range as well. Yes, that is. Like immediately, you love to see it. Uh, Very much rat gameplay, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's great to see. Jimmy's brain grinding slowly to a halt here as he 
think so. I've got to make a GFI. Fuck. Well, I'll make two of them, no problem. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're going to come, as, as you said, if, you know, if you've left it so you have to make a go for it, why not make two and hit with the tackle <laughs> yeah. piece? Exactly. And GFI, rewarded with a stun. Nothing is coming up Amazon right now. Everything is coming up Elf. Oh, big time. Jim's still a little bit worried about that one in nine into a touchback, isn't he? Still worried that the Elves, if he leaves them entirely free on the other side of the pitch, a touchback does just mean they've got a reasonable chance of sidelining and uh, getting the score. So. Nope, Frosty is back as a safety. That concern no longer there. Catches it. Of course he does. If yeah. you're Jim here, do you do the double GFI to score? Uh, I, I see what what happens, what the Amazons do, other than be really sad. Um, if they put a reasonable defence up, probably I don't mind. I mean, scoring an eight is still great for us, though. He's not going to be mindless of the fact that he's uh, lost one elf and got another KO. So he'd love to get the KO'd one back. If you, if you do that, if you're going for that, you maximise your chances. If he scores next turn, he's guaranteed another two shots at the KO's coming back. Yeah, absolutely. But the, the, the flip side of that is no, you do I'm give up those line of scrimmage wrong. hits. No, it's it, yeah, it's yeah, that was well, wrong. the one for the score and the one for the second half. Yeah, yeah, that was. So that was you, yeah. you're right. It is too. Oh, I thought he was going to wizard then. Oh, he the old fireball. Yeah, I thought he might. Don't wizard count your eggs yet, mate. Might be an end of turn fireball. Two armor seven in there. The fireball did not awful odds. It's awful, but it's not awful. It's f I mean, like, for value, it's the one-turner, it's both strength fours, <laughs> and, yeah. It's, yeah. and it's the guard blitzer, like, that is... Yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't a terrible fire. fireball, but it, it would still have been a fireball in anger rather than in hope, wouldn't it? Yeah, Recovery it's... of the ball from there looked very, very bleak. Yeah, true. But the end of turn, I don't know, do you do it? If you're in the amp, like, it's not going your way at no. all. Do you just get rid of the wizard? Fuck it, I'm going to play this old school. I didn't win my CCL games with a wizard. I didn't qualify with wizards. Maybe I did, but maybe I didn't. But fuck, I don't need a wizard here. Get fireballed, son. He goes for a wonder with wrestle and tackle. That could work as well. Yeah, I think Moradam's right. The, the Zons here need to high roll, but I'm, at the moment I'm not seeing a plan that high rolls. I, I didn't think the wizard there, there was any chance of recovering the ball. Otherwise, I did like the attrition value of those four pieces under a fireball. Um, I think this is just so bleak. I'm also not sure the Amazons have quite worked out that Jimmy can just bang it in from there. If he, <laughs> he actually can. This does nothing. Two plus, at all. two plus. He it's is still, absolutely two plus, home. Two plus, yeah. No, no, no. He has to clip the corner of where the movement tackle just went. So the Amazon player is actually guaranteed that that person gets blitz. Mm hmm. Here we go. Reroll commit to this. Got to be Skull. Oh, unfortunate. And that means Jimmy's got one less GFI to make. And he pushes him out of the... Oh, no. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't like yeah. much of that. Um, though it's really hard to think what else could have worked because I'm not sure much else could. I certainly don't think without any diving tackle this is in anything like secure because it isn't. That's the reason I think that. <laughs> yeah, yep, I think that because it's it not. Is that. Yep, yeah, yep. I can the... get behind that. That's called a four. Okay, that's a little better. I mean, not much, but a little better. If I'm Jimmy here, I frankly, I can drop back if I want to. Um, I can blitz through that dodge piece, but it's not that easy to do. Okay, so he is reinforcing that too. Okay, this isn't a terrible screen. And considering how the, the Amazon started this turn, that's just not a great idea. That would be no, sort of much this, better off right where it is. After a wizard would have been great. I mean, you've got a blodge firm guard right in the middle of where all the elves are. Why do you not just leave it there? Why do you take two reds when you haven't got a rerun? I think that was awful. It is so Jimmy hard for most players to keep their sort of, not so much wits about them, but level-headed during yeah. times like this. Yeah, it is. And they learn to live again. Yeah, but it it's, is... It's a key <laughs> skill in tough. Bumble, I've always said. It's, it's as much it is, about yeah. managing failure as it is about you know the paths to success. How do you cope when everything goes wrong? Because it goes wrong all the time in Blood Bowl. That's a feature of the game. 
almost like they designed it in. So I do think Jimmy's just going to pull back here. Side swap and start and score, not in seven or six, but on eight. Um, I think that's fine. The elves of the Amazon, sorry, have put quite a good screen up. There were ways through, but they were not great ways. You know, probably a three and a two, and then the two go for it. So that's a lot to ask off a single reroll, which at the moment is all you're allowed to use in one turn. I think Jimmy did bust on the mic there and spoke about worry for the fireball. It looks like he's making a cage here. Yeah. He, which I think I still think it's a screen, not a cage. But yeah, I see your point. There are ways through it, you know, whizzing things. But the problem is the Amazons have two turns left. They're not <laughs> yeah, really in range yeah. to get anywhere with the two turns. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to see the blitz on that strength Amazon piece, but it's not looking likely. No. Taking it, going for a bit of farm here, maybe? I don't know how yeah. close that guy is to leveling, if you could double-check that. I'm watching Jim's stream, you see. Yes, the one he's just handed off to, Frosty the Catcher, is on 32 SPP. Uh, the one that's just thrown it now moves on to 31. Oh, that was just a pass, wasn't it? Wasn't there? Oh, well, it was no, just it was a handoff, hand yeah. Just a handoff, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, there's no SPP there. Um, so okay. that's 31 handing off to 32. So no which, scoring. Uh, seems a little. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think he's he handed off to it because it lodged that, and it just makes it uh, super safe. And also because he doesn't want his lovely move piece bolted. I think that is a bolt bitch, in, to use the technical term. So the Amazons can sweep round in front of these elves again, but. Um, yeah. Well, I Jimmy's not on for... I mean, he sort of is on for the score. He's still got two turns, but it's less likely now. This isn't as aggressive as I'd like to have seen. But then again, not knocking down that strength... Strength stand firm piece was probably pretty huge in yeah. the way he decided to play that out. Yeah, the Amazon's also missing their, uh, their Rackle. Um, so that's not great. Uh, welcome, by the way, to Martin Scorsese's Friends. Uh, you join us towards the end of the first half of Jimmy's Chalice game. Uh, there was a little pitch invasion, just took three Amazons down, but Jimmy absolutely rushed forwards, marked everything up, put pressure on the ball, and the Amazons didn't have a very good plan anyway, but it failed on their first one in nine. And then, of course, set up again. Elves get a blitz. The uh, kick was incredibly short on the actual LOS line, um, off to the right, where there was only a couple of Amazon players. Jimmy capitalised. But we've seen now Jimmy's... High speed offense is sort of perhaps slowing down here, but we'll see how this turn unfolds from the Amazons. So many angles that the Amazons have to cover here as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. With the, you got the uh, watch guy. Jimmy, Jimmy's not that bothered about scoring. As long as the Amazons don't score, he's 1 0 at the half with the ball in hand. That's lovely for Jimmy. He'll certainly put some pieces in range. Um, you know, that move 10 catcher can go wherever it wants. Uh, there's some places I would like it to go. <laughs> The thing is, with the, the Amazons, he's not out of the woods yet. He's The Amazons are healthy. They've got a couple of, what is it? There was one injury that was Apo. I don't know if there's been another injury. This can still, and the wizard in hand as well, this can still go against Jimmy. Overtime format. Um, uh, the elves have had two KOs. Uh, the Amazons have had the, the piece that was sent off from the foul. Oh, yes. Junk uh, line course, yeah. And did use their apothecary on their, move, their AV6 uh, Hitty Blitzer. Uh, they did, but so what the smartest move in the world you just like i don't know you just like to ring this ring the bell don't you the ding 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 another touchdown ding ding another touchdown like rats any chance you get you fucking score for the most well i mean at two nil it, it's it, we're done here because even yes. with the whiz and a turnover they then got a turnover again without a whiz so yeah I mean, certainly jimmy will try and threaten this backfield try and put some pieces in range but also i don't think he's going to care hugely if it doesn't work Right now, any way this half ends, it's good for Jimmy. Yeah, I know. Going to poke through here. Yeah, I know why he took that on, but it, it, okay. So he's planning to hit the uh, hit the guard free like that. Okay, I was going to say because he slightly trapped that guard in there, taking its dodge square as he did. But uh, mm. having blitzed it off now. Oh no, he didn't blitz with a tackler, did he? So he hasn't blitzed it off. Oh yeah. 
Oh, okay. I don't. I, I, I think mean, it's probably going to be inconsequential as far as yeah. It's a, up it's a push. It's not going to knock it over, but it still means he can uh, get the other guard piece out and put another threat in. Now you're just staring down a gun of that armor seven that, kill piece. That lineman, is that lineman coming into range? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is in range. Okay. Now, interestingly, that lineman had another pace of movement and didn't take it. So there must be a plan involving its guard. I think he's trying to get around behind these Amazons and hand it off back to the fast piece. Is he? Two yep. gamer. Yes, he is. Didn't go for the pass, though, which would have failed. So probably the good choice. Yeah. It's a good choice, even if it even if it doesn't fail. You don't yeah, I mean, handoffs that. are always safe. <laughs> Elves can do vanity passes. Safe areas, but a pass, there's always that risk of the one in 36, or if it's sucking a reroll, you might need another, another turn. Of course, two rerolls and two turns. Yeah, you're right. He has got does, one to spend. Does he go for the big boy dodges on the front four here? Yeah. To pull him up? Um, oh. Otherwise, he's getting on the other hand, it, it's, it's tackle, so it ties those Amazons up, and it's blodge step. And there is no tackle Amazon piece up there. I might be tempted just to stay where I am and say, okay, you knock me over if you want to. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of the dodge forward, but it is a yes, it is a few the, dives. the three, three, two. Yeah, I mean, it's that's one in nine, one in nine, one in thirty-six. It's not terrible, um, but I didn't hate leaving it where it was. Although that said, you know, well, pulling it around there is almost as good, isn't it? You're still tying one Amazon up, and uh, there's less chance of it getting hit now. Oh, vocal Joe, I almost made the mistake of, of saying there might be a surf on, but here's a sidestep, so I didn't actually say it. Caught myself in time. Didn't want to look like an idiot. And uh, glad someone said it. Um, also thankful it's not me. All due respect. Mm. Fireball. Ah, if you're not looking score. like an idiot to key aim for you, I do have some other tips. But we'll cover those another time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're probably not wrong. I had an awful game yesterday. It was, it was, it was fucking awful. So bad I deleted the VOD. Hmm. I came back tired. It's, it's blood. Ill. Terrible things are going to happen. I had a terrible game last night, which I managed to win in the chalice. But oh no, it was all it was all down to me. Just just like just potato brain. Oh, so was mine. I, I let him get away from a position where I absolutely had him, um, oh, and it should have been. But you still won. Nil, you nil still won. Nice bit of overcoming the adversity there. Yeah, I did eventually, but yeah, it yeah. It, it should have been over in normal time easily, uh, and instead it went to overtime. Where of course you know if he'd got the ball, I suppose anything could have happened. Ivoka Joe is only half watching the game, so you know, forgive him for making that mistake with the sidestep. No, yeah. no, you're not forgiven. You should just no. have a glance at it. The sidestep pieces, Volkaja. That's just not okay. You can forgive yourself, but in my heart, you're dead to me. Yeah. Right. I think the Amazons are fireballing. Completely screwed here. Oh fuck it me! Made... That was. Yeah. Yeah. At least moving one square up and you're hitting three oh, armor seven. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's awful. Jimmy, drop the GG um, right now, or you're gonna fucking lose. You have to call it before the Amazon does. I mean, there's a there's a there's a dodge in here for a one die that I think it's, has to yeah, be tried. It's, it's terrible, but I don't know what the hell else you do. What do you I do think after if you're that? gonna use the wizard there, you should have um, bolted the move ten and at least done the world a favor by killing it. I didn't think the fireball had great odds there, but... No, that's... And even if it works, all you're doing is stopping a touchdown. You're not scoring yourself. You're still 1-0 yep. down at the half. Yeah, there was a better argument for the fireball a few turns ago, right? Just yeah, straight off there the definitely back of was. Straight, exactly, where there were those four pieces. I mean, I didn't love the recovery options there, but if you got three or two of them down, there were some chances. Mm -hmm. I think that was a pure tilt fireball. I think that was anger, not uh, not tactics that led to that fireball. Well, who knows? I mean, he could be seeing the game from a different perspective. It's yeah, I'm not seeing a way in which he scores. I'm not seeing no. a way in which the fireball there is is great, unless you get the kills. But if you're going for the kills, which you probably should be, if you're doing it there, you're gonna want to be hitting all of the armor sevens. I'm definitely agreeing with you that that he was unlikely to score with all of the pieces in his own half on his turn eight. Yes, yeah, like I'm, I'm just trying, I'm trying reasonably to, certain. Um, no, you're right. About I, positives, right? You know, I'm yeah. trying to not. Oof, good luck with that. Um, no, you're absolutely spot on. I, you know, I I think I can only come back to what I said. I think that was a, an anger fireball. Um, yeah. 
I mean, the problem is there that even if anything happens, the ball's still going to end up on the ground in a mess of elves. You weren't going to take oh, time. three maximum. Was is all he going to get the blitz balling. off in time? Ah, he does it! He does it! Zero, 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 zero! Doesn't make it in. Oh my goodness, that was so tight on time. Three minutes, and it takes you that long for a turn that planned itself. Um. Oh no, the double one on the GFI. Armour doesn't break, though. Wow! Scoring... Nothing is... is coming up for the Amazons here. I'm, I'm genuinely starting to feel a bit sorry for them here. I, I mean, to a certain extent, you make your own luck, and I think there are some crucial moments in which the Amazon coach could have. Could you could you make me some next time you're brewing a batch? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can I can whip you some luck up. Uh, I'd like some Jimmy Fantastique flavored luck, really. Yes. So yeah. the strength four doing its job there, taking the only piece that was even vaguely problematic out of the way. Doesn't get the uh, the kill on the AV six. Very glad Jimmy took the block there because it is armor seven. You have to bang this where you can. Apo's gone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it's actually AV six, but yes, you've got a point. Oh, yes. It was a, yeah, it, yeah. it was the low armor one, which is hard to spot if you're not clicking on a client like I am. Yeah, no, I'm just watching um, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, frankly, no, he's not fucked around on the camera too much, so I've got good angles to view things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I can I can yeah. click on them. So that was the AV six that he popped the first time, which is why I mean it needed moving anyway. But <laughs> lovely target. And Jimmy does go 2-0 at the half. Amazons now have no ball. Uh, they're two touchdowns down and the Wizards gone. Um, place your in-game bets now. Oh, yeah. I have never noticed. Amazons, 40 to 1. Like a bit of that? Click oh. the button, have a bet. Always bet responsibly though, eh? Remember, when the fun stops, stop. They were absolutely rock hard today. Jimmy so Fantastic oh dropping God. the Daka 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 there. Um, it's not called a Daka if you've absolutely no intention of scoring, Jimmy. Uh, then I believe it's called a Turtle. But he may. He may well be trying to do that. You take the stick, piss, Steve Motti. Mate, that's like, that was like the first comparison I made of you. I thought... You know, his poor man's Ray Winston. And that's really uh, not a bad thing to be compared to. My very first acting agent uh, took me on exactly as that. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, he represented Ray Winston and he figured he could sell me as a younger, cheaper Ray Winston. Did it, did it get you any work? No. Fuck. He told me it would be five years, he thought, before I could really, uh, you know, start work <laughs> and that he was prepared to wait that long. And then three years later, he cut me. So five years, a couple of kids, so you get the stress marks and that sort of shit. And then, yeah, you're set. Uh, essentially, I was 26 at the time. He thought I would sell better in my 30s. Okay, okay. Uh, and as I said, he gave me three of those five years before deciding that uh, he was wrong. <laughs> no, Brutal world. Confidence. Yes, yep. I haven't let it break me. I only cry some nights. So this very much anti-blitz set up. Uh, no attempt to move forward on this drive. Jimmy just wants to... Uh, have enough pieces in place that if there is a blitz, the Amazons can't uh, get easily through into the central area. Of course, a blitz wow. down either wing still gives them some hope, but it's a high kick. And he catches it off the bat, doesn't even get to make use of his high kick. That's one of the worst things. You know, I think I hate that, you know, when someone's already under the high kick. What, just elves? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's true in Blood Bowl 2. I've never tried to do it. In the Fumble Client, uh, as I believe is the rules on this version of the tabletop game, you can swap them with any other piece on the pitch. So you can click another yeah, piece, which then runs in into that space. Right, okay. Sadly. Yeah, I mean, that would be better, because it does allow you to say, actually, I'm going to try and catch it with this one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're just seeing uh, the elves, I think, tactically withdraw or bloody run away, whichever way you want to put that. Even hitting um, on a seven, that's always a sad day. Yeah, Jimmy, not even blitzing. No, just a full on runaway. Fail. Oh, little sort of runaway. Yep. Run, 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 run away. And that's why you don't blitz, because it's not, the arm's not going to break. And Probably the vanity pass utterly failing. A one in 36 on the catch there. If only these were, say, rats or wood elves or anything with any pace. That might be vaguely problematic. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't hear with the thing. Yeah, I think Blood Bowl Two have got it right. As long as the square is unoccupied, if it's if it's not 
If it's occupied, when it's occupied, nothing changes. Okay. So yeah, Fumble's got it. Fair oh, enough. Maybe. I know that is well, CRP, isn't we, it? They could always change. I, I, always I change. may not be remembering because CRP is five years ago. Yeah. And it was, you know, only a couple of months after BB2 came out that Fumble moved on to um, the Blood Bowl 2016 rules, of course. Yeah, they were good. They were really good odds. You know, PC made a compelling sort of argument for me. But then again, it's like the, the swapping of the players was a bit... Eh. I certainly remember that happening on the Fumble client. Uh, I don't remember if it was the rule set back then or if it came in before that or... Frankly, it could have been 12 years ago. It all just becomes one eventually. Oh. It's all the same, only the faces change. Every day it feels like we're fading away. Yeah, <laughs> Sniam's in a press deep here. The yeah, bladed, I mean, it's... The bladed it's push. It desperately wanted a single blitz, uh, and in doing so, you know, meant they had to take that go for it, which uh, failed. They haven't bothered with the reroll on it. Jimmy, going to go for the double hit? Must do. I think he'll probably just take the one. After all, there's a ball to be picked up and pointlessly thrown to another elf for one SPP. <laughs> yep. No, he is going to take a second hit. That's very brave of him. We like to see that. Yeah, we do. It's uh... not getting his reward. Pass it. There was the pass. There's no more repositioning of people either. You know, I thought. This probably isn't the safest thing, right? Yeah, Goes for the re-roll. Passes the re-roll. I mean, he should have, on the left as we're looking at it, he should have moved the uh, the one on the outside and double screened. Yes. Um, but... That would have been slightly safer, which I think is why he re-rolled, as he had a look at that and thought, oh, actually, <laughs> if, this, if this guess. bounces past him and they take the strength four down, there's just a chance they do get a score here. I mean, there wasn't much of one, but it's not impossible to have seen that happening. Yeah, it didn't, though, Adonto Chellis. Uh, it nearly did. I mean, it sort of mm. almost looked like it might do in the right lighting, mm. but then it decided you not. Have to, you have to squint, you know, you have to... It's not that cut and dry. And of course, you're stuck here as the Amazons. Yeah, I commit, and he just walked past me. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I mean, this is the this is the problem with a, a turtle as opposed to a dacker is there's no need to ever come forward. So the Amazons have to press. They have to put threat on. They have to try and find us some way through, and that makes it even harder uh, to imagine how um, how they stop a high elf advance if Jimmy even can be bothered to. Not a huge fan of playing Blood Bowl if he doesn't have to, Jimmy. And um, with this nope. game already won, there's no real need to play any Blood Bowl. I really thought he was going to go for the Blitz on this strength four. Obviously difficult, but... Um, Tackle. Does anyone know Sick of Eggs in the real world? I think he... In his face, stroke. isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And not the good kind. Face, arms... Cock and eyeballs? I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. It's fire, actually, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Is it face? Fast. Face, arms, speech, and time to do something about it. That's right. Didn't actually know that. It's good to, good to know. Obviously, I don't uh, circles where that's uh, an appropriate thing to learn. I don't they advertise at me but... constantly. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would do it, then. I know the Vinnie Jones staying alive thing they did. Remember that one. I was quite pleased the other night, just because there's no Blood Bowl to discuss. I'll tell you the story. Yep. Uh, my phone decided to uh, to give me an advert for a gay dating site. Nice. Which compared to the amount of sort of saga holidays, sanatogen pills, um, and uh, stroke relief, and adult nappy things that they seem to think I need to look at, I was quite flattered. I genuinely was quite chuffed. No, that's fantastic. I think it's because you've not bitten on any of those other things, like the bit of crisis things. Like you've not. Well, look, look, lads. He's not gone for the. He's not gone for the package holidays. He's not gone for the motorbike. He's not. You know. He's not done anything here. All right. We need to. Google's like. Look, the algorithm yeah. is like. Yep. Yeah, we we know what we need to hit him with. This man's. Coming of age. 
I did also think it might be coming of age, is it? It's coming, coming Richard about. Fault. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps they did think it was time for me to come out. Certainly, my sister's yeah. always thought it is. She has always associated actors with um, with different sexual persuasions to what she considers normal. Hateful sister, my figure. My, hateful figure, yes. my sister. Yes. I mean, obviously, you know, working in the acting community, I've known a lot of people of all sorts of different genders and sexualities throughout my time. Um, I think if I was gay, I'd have been brave enough to say so. But no, it, it certainly wouldn't frighten or insult me in any way. Yeah, Genuinely, no reason probably, in my world to ever gone. hide that. Discovering if that's... Um, if that's... Your inclination? Yeah, uh, I certainly I was trying to think of the best word there. Haven't haven't lacked opportunity. I've just lacked the desire, frankly. So a really, really safe wall here. I mean, as I said, Jimmy making no real attempt to ever look like he's going to go forwards. He might, you know, if we get to say turn fourteen, he might have a good bit of go some blood bowl. But I wouldn't put a lot of money on it if I was watching this. If I were you, we do plan to have a look at the Dionysian game after this. So if you hang on, some blood bowl may eventually be glimpsed. I wasn't sure if he'd done it. I yeah, yeah, I will watch that. Yes, it's a, it's, a, I, I, it's a replay. I happened to watch it live, so I'm gonna have to pretend I didn't know what was going on. Um, ah. Well I was both overjoyed and incredibly saddened when the wheel landed on Delete Twitch. Yeah, uh, that never looked to be true to me and turned out not to be. Well he's he's done one stream since. Um yeah, perhaps you're right, perhaps it is more <laughs> yeah. real than I had figured. Do, I, do I mean, he is Dionysian 2020. There's obviously a reasonable chance we see a Dionysian 2021, even if he does delete. Well, we should do, really. I, I think it would be a real loss to the community. He's a fabulous streamer, a great thinker of Blood Bowl. Uh, when he chooses to share his ideas, I think his ideas are always at the very least interesting and challenging and worth listening to. I don't think he's always right, but I do think he's usually got a reasonable point behind most things he says if you can work out when he's saying things and differentiate it from when he's having some fun. Yeah, a tricky thing to discern, isn't it? It is. He's somewhat uh, gnomic in his pronunciations. Now, I quite like this Amazon shape. They're putting some, uh, putting some pressure on, on lots of elves. There's a decent wall. It's very hard to see how the uh, high elves break through, except they don't plan to. Um, I was just reading McKeat's comment there. Here, PC was earmarked as a younger gay Win Ray Winston at one point. You can imagine that going to the actors' office, like he's trying to picture the agent. So, T what I'm, Ro right? I'm Ray Winston, but I'm like gay, you slag. Yeah. You got a problem with that? Ray Winston. Ray Winston here, younger, younger Ray Winston, but gay. Didn't get you any work though, sadly. I've I've played gay in a couple of shows. Doesn't bother me. I also, I know that can be controversial in the modern world. Um, I completely disagree. I think we're not a sexual, uh, as an actor, we're not a sexuality first, we're an actor first. Yeah. Uh, um, I was very pleased when the, when the Doctor Who writer um, said that he would only employ gay actors for gay roles and straight roles. Um, that lots of, I mean, lots of the straight actors went, I'm not touching that. And a lot of the, uh, the gay actors uh, came forward and said, actually, I'm an actor first and a gay person second. Can you just employ me as an actor, please? Yes. And yeah, I think that's I think pretty much that's... what a lot of people in the profession felt. I don't feel as though that's a a um, there's not a reasonable cause for sort of pushing that, like they're having because let's be honest, look, you look at someone, and you don't know their sexual orientation, absolutely how that works. However, there is certainly something to be said about minority roles being played by. There's something. Oh, there definitely. That's worth there's, there is there's but... still an issue of representation. I mean, you know, we can all think of, for example, Rupert Everett, who absolutely had the looks and the talent to be a Hollywood leading man, um, but would tell you, and I would agree with him, that his sexuality is a key reason why that never happened for him. Um, so there is still an issue, issue of representation. That mm -hmm. said, there is an enormous amount of gay people working in the acting industry that a lot of people just never would guess or think were gay. Um, and as yeah, I mean, as the gay actors were, were saying a lot, you know, I am an actor that is gay, not a gay actor. That's a whole different thing. Yeah, big time. That said, there's still a lot of stereotyping of gay roles uh, on television and in film, which is horrific and should be stopped. But yeah, I'm not sure that was the way to address that particular issue in an industry that it just genuinely doesn't have a lot of homophobia in it, even if there's a representation issue, which is. Very often the suit's pandering to the audience, sadly. 
Right, so this stall may well be at an end. I don't see how Jimmy stays there for much longer. Um, I mean, he can just fight his corner, but I, I think the Amazons do have the ability to fight their way in eventually. Whether they yeah, can they, do it they're, twice they're getting before close, the end I, I was sort of looking at this and thinking... Yeah, yeah. Now what? Well, I mean, now Jimmy goes up the, uh, up the uh, right-hand side touchline, I would have thought. Which isn't that tricky to do. I think the pile. strength four is the is the answer here. But oh, we do see the pile. Got to be done. Yeah. Doesn't Absolutely work. no impact. I don't think. I think if you're running over there, you're going to be running running over as far right as you can, because that's where he's going. Don't think banging anybody else in the middle is really going to help. I no, don't think I think stand the, uh, Yeah, I think I, this guard piece has to cover that flank. That's not good enough. No, that's absolutely not. That's just a simple hit through in one sideline cage. Next turn, yeah. he's absolutely gone. That doesn't help either. And then we do need a piece reinforcing this middle, and that final piece does need to do it. But those other two, I think, were badly placed. Yeah, that's... Uh, no, it's not easy. Here. You probably have to dodge an elf out backwards to get the strength four in, and you probably need to use the tackle strength four, so that's two dodges, to get a hit on the guard stand firm. But... And then you need to. Yeah, but it doesn't it. have. The, does the guard stand firm have block? It must do, right? It's one of the Amazon pieces that start a blodge. Yeah, it's a blitz. It's a blitz. Oh, okay. So yes, it okay. was. All right. I mean, I struggle to tell any of these pieces apart, but um, they they squat slightly lower. That's about all I've got on the Amazon. Oh, okay, blitz. okay, yeah, yeah. I'm still yet to. And they stand slightly more in the buffalo stance. If Buffalo you know that sounds. very old song. No, no one knows that old song. No, that's lost on me, sadly. Uh, we all stand in the Buffalo stance. Nope, still lost on me, yep. Yeah, yes, the other one me. that seemingly only Scurimezzo is old enough to remember is that Buffalo girls, of course, always go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Well, I know that reference from uh, ah, Eminem, well, of there course. there you are. Two oh, yeah, did girls he, go round the outside, round the outside. Ah, uh, yes, round the outside. he referenced it then, you're right, yeah. yeah. Well, the original was Buffalo girls. Okay, that's uh, good to know. 80s tune, dance tune. <laughs> Eminem sampled it, Skuro says yes. Are you going to join us for the little well, the latter stage for this, Skuro? Now that you've roused yourself from your slumber and presumably had your first bake of the day? <laughs> Fucking did you. Uh, there we go. <laughs> he's um, last night's bong, ready to gone. go. Hey, yep, he's free. And the ball is now perfectly Needs safe. Needs one more through. Fine. I think you're slightly behind. Uh, there aren't it you? is. Yeah, elf. See, even when things go horribly wrong, it's two two pluses or a three plus, and it solves everything. So it will be three nil. Uh, there's absolutely no way to stop this. Uh, next turn, he can just potato away. You are sitting there. You're you're considering punching your monitor if you're the Amazon coach there. Yeah. Will this guy just not fail? Will he fail a dice roll, please? Uh, Any sort of. Seemingly today, the answer is no. That isn't yep. going to happen. He did use his. No, he didn't use his re roll. He had a failed dodge, but he re rolled with dodge earlier. Right at the start of the turn when he had to dodge someone out. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So there was a tiny bit of adversity for Jim. Yeah. And that screen he was trying to form at the end of the second half, as I said, the you know the ones that could move moved, but then it was two two pluses having used the re-roll, and the first one of those failed, didn't it? So yeah. Or is that the same one you're just talking about? I'm just. I have it. fucking forgot. <laughs> Never Completely, mind. Yep. Hasn't been that enthralling an experience this game, has it? Sadly. It hasn't. It was interesting the first half. There was a lot to talk about. There was a lot of yes, a lot of stuff um, going on. But this this half fucking as. God. Almost like the withdrawn offence is completely going to strangle Blood Bowl, put people off and drive players away. But Yeah, you know, I think of all the things that have came across from, fun. from Thunder, this is one of the fucking worst. Look, it's well known I utterly despise it. Uh, not as people think because it's so successful against Dwarves. It can be successful against Dwarves. It can also fail just as easily. Yeah, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not that. It's, it's terrible for the game. Yeah, it's the same problem I have with the blanket skill teams, the Dwarves, the Amazons, yeah. the Norse. Yeah. It's just fucking... It's tedious. Yep. It's yep. very tedious. Um, I'd have been quite happy to see the tackles swapped onto dwarf blitzers only and taken off the beards. I think that would be reasonable. Yeah, I do think, they'd, they'd, I do think you'd, you'd then have to have a look at balance because that would hurt them a bit. But I don't think it hurt them that much. Um, and it would be a needed boost for 
stunties. I think the real toxic problem is Amazon's. I think yeah, Amazon's when, just when Kev first came over to Blood Bowl 2, it's all he fucking played, and it was disgusting. Because he's an incredibly, uh, incredibly good coach, and he just fucking yeah. did everybody in their ladder for some time. I mean, Norse at least did get the Ulferners and the Yeti when they were looked at because they were just tedious when they were all move three, strength three, agility three, block. And they had four Berserkers, and that was about the only thing interesting about them. Um, so at least they got a little more interesting, a little change in their design at higher TV, but I then thought they would do the same with Amazons, and they just didn't bother. No. I have the sense that for many years now, Games Workshop's been a bit embarrassed about Amazons, which is why we haven't seen a spike for them, we haven't seen any updates, we haven't seen a new box for them. It's, um, it's a tough thing to... they tried to leave them in the 80s, haven't they? Yeah, I think... It, yeah. Yeah, it's such a tough fucking... It's, it's a tough uh, sort of line to tread, I think. Is in it? In today's day and age. And if you look at how um, well, Wonder let's Woman... Well, let's be honest. One, I didn't like the second one, but if you look at how Wonder Woman dealt with the Amazons, I thought they looked great. They didn't seem that sexist. They were proper hard. The, the thing um, is, right, if you go to a games workshop and you look at your average Blood Bowl coach, right, these yes. aren't, yeah, they, they're, they're just sweaty fucking losers that are probably jacking it. All due respect to everybody involved. But this is, I don't think this is the... <laughs> I'm not sure you can follow that sentence with all due respect and expect that that's going to cover it. But no, I'm not necessarily going to disagree. I've given all due respect. Uh, I really need to go for a piss. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay. Wow, indeed. Triggered or described, uh, Modest Boost. Modest Boosh. <coughs> no, I don't have a problem with the idea of, of Amazons. I do have a problem, I mean, if you've ever listened to the Fumble podcast, you will know, with the fact that it's always uh, Amazons in underwear, which I think is a bit toxic. And if you look at the uh, the Amazons on Blood Bowl 2, the porny noises they make and the underwear they make use, it's it's not okay, is it? I mean, I get that it's a bit of a, a meme and a joke and it's a beer and pretzels game, but it's to me it's like Hooters. Um, I, I just don't think that should really be a thing. I think they should have moved beyond that as a species by now. Which is why, famously, I love the Exit 23 Amazons, which is uh, the Amazon team I have to coach on tabletop, uh, who are all fully dressed and who look like they could actually, you know, give you a hard game of, of Blood Bowl. So there are other options out there. The Nuke Girls are another one that uh, is very, very popular. Again, you know, a sort of slightly post-apocalyptic look on the Amazons, but certainly not. You don't look at them and think, four. You look at them and think, yeah, they look hard and tough and like they could play a, a, a brutal game. So I do think it's possible to redesign Amazons and make them a bit less toxic and, and sort of 70s or 80s looking. But uh, certainly Games Workshop seems to have shied away from it so far. And of course they also shied away from it so far in Total War Hammer, where the Amazons were expected to appear in Lustria and didn't. Then they did bring them in into Troy, didn't they? So it's clearly not a universal decision by, um, by the Total War people. Uh, I would guess it came from Games Workshop. Right, I am back. I think everyone's just agreed with everything that you said. That's, yeah. Yep, I mean... No controversy there. Everyone felt fully included and loved and nurtured. Fantastic, that's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. That uh, makes me very happy. I don't either, humorous chimp. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that... Um, you know, have a look through the female models that we have available from both Games Workshop, though they don't really have any. Except they have slightly, you know, they've slightly they put some female ogres in that I thought was sort of okay, except one looked like she was doing a food. I think it's a, it's a um, tough one. If you look one, at them from think... third party, I mean, I got quite excited before the ones I bought. Someone said to me, well, if you don't like sexist ones, go and have a look at the warrior nuns. I did, and they looked like stripper nuns. I've just realised I'm, I'm tryharding and I haven't had to play Bloodboard at all this half. I don't know why I'm still muted. <laughs> No, <laughs> or, or why you're playing Blood Bowl at all this half. Um, yeah, glorious, eh? <laughs> yeah, like, I think the skimpy clothing stuff is just... It has to go, because they, yeah. you know... And I think if you want to have uh, sort of female models, female inclusion, make them your war dancers, make them your really good... Absolutely. Your good pieces, I think that's the way you do it, and you make a nice smattering of them amongst all races, all teams, yeah. rather than a dedicated no, sort of... with you there. <laughs> I love that I've spent all three rerolls this half on passes. Yes, I had noticed. 
had failed plenty still, and it just didn't matter, did it? No. Uh, I mean, it was scary, that body. turn. That, that, that turn there where I kind of needed the power against the stand firm, and then, you know, that was a bit, a bit dodgy, yeah. isn't it? I did hear in that little squeaky no just the vaguest hint of embarrassment, Jim, and I'm, I'm going <laughs> to cling to that. There's still hope for you. You still have a Blood Bowl soul somewhere inside you. Thanks. <laughs> There's no, like, the male body isn't objectified anywhere near as much as, as no. the, like, because Judas came was saying, Norse have skimpy clothes and no one complains. It's yeah. like, well, yeah, but it's nowhere near the same sort of thing, and it's also a male sort of oriented game anyway like most players are male absolutely um, and, and in, in society that's also true pick up any glossy magazine be it a male magazine or a female magazine and you will see 80 to 20 at the very best for the men uh, objectification of men compared to women um just the fact is that's what we do in society that's what we do in our gaming oh yeah of course the noises as well norse don't make sex grunts every action they don't. No, <laughs> good point there good point there fighting mongoose that's a massively great point yeah it really is and it's, um, that's not okay. Go for the pass, you pussy. The zones are even making the noises while I'm playing. Like, they're not even doing anything. They just have it as an idle one. They're just all going, yeah. mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. again. Ah. Oh. These game noise. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I've married a woman, and I also have raised a daughter. They don't stand there doing that. <laughs> they really don't. That's not a thing. Well, they might do when you're the other side of the house. Yeah, they might. They <laughs> might. That's what I've got in here, shot. Um, but my daughter's been a gymnast since she was four, so that's uh, 11, maybe 12 years of doing quite high-level gymnastics. Still doesn't sound like that when she's... <laughs> my wife was a professional dancer. Again, lots of energy expected there, expended there. Doesn't make noises like that. <laughs> That, Again, we yes, within we my should, We shouldn't. We shouldn't go down that. No, way. I am way. happy. Very no, happy no, to I'm say not, that. I'm not happy. Out. I'm not happy to do that. <laughs> to go down that line of no, I'm not no. happy. To Got him 11 SPPs this game. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Can, if I can do the same against Dave or uh, Dave or Ducky in the next round, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> I don't think that that will be quite the SPP glut the next game, but still. Definitely. Uh, I mean, know. you say next game. I've been sort of waiting to watch a game. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we had a look at a little cheeky sniff of a game um, about half an I hour mean, I, ago. I, I'll but... be honest, Jimmy. I loved how you pushed forward. Uh, only three on that pitch invasion, but that was enough. Um, you know, to put lots of threat on them. To a one in nine, as I said when you were doing it. You know, nothing here. There were two pieces that could move without a one in nine risk. And sure enough, the minute he started taking a one in nine risk, it failed. It gave you total control of the pitch. And I really liked how you did that in the first few turns. Thanks. But since then, I mean, the blitz <laughs> was laughable, wasn't it? Since then, we really yeah. haven't had Blood Bowl. Yeah, We've had true. a procession. That's true. But uh, yeah, it was interesting the first one, because obviously the second one, there was, there was numerous ways of getting at the ball. And I just thought, I'll try and power the, the guarder first. And I didn't. But if I'd powered him, I would have thought about going after the ball. But then I thought, just try and play it safe. And uh, Yeah, I mean, there was actually just a 2 plus 2 plus to put a guard on the ball and then a 2 plus to put a uh, 2 die wrestle piece onto the ball. Was it that easy? Um, yeah. It really was that easy. <laughs> um, but I didn't hate the fact that you did some hitting first. You were so in control of it that really it, it was fine. You were always going to turn him over at that point. It never looked ever in doubt yeah. um, and then if instead of the only option he then had because you did leave one little hope which was him just pulling everything back and sort of starting yeah. the drive from his third or fourth line of, of you know in front of the touchdown he might, line. He might foul you here Jim. Um, but he didn't he decided to try and foul out the strength four piece by standing the ball carrier right next to it which yeah, I thought he was going to do a pass. I thought when he moved the guy over there, when he moved the ball carrier over there, I thought he was going to pass and like potato down. Yeah, um, so did I. But and then he just no. didn't. <laughs> no. And then he relied on a two assist foul to break armor, which is not good, is it? That, yeah, that was a very, 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 very questionable turn. And frankly, even if it had worked, which there wasn't a great chance, um, you still had all sorts of options to take it away. Oh, well, nothing happens, right? Because yes, you still have your apple, don't you? So there's no apple, yep. Yeah. So I could have appled the, uh, the, the, the one Kaz. But he had a yeah. bomber, and, you know, I have I got, was got good players. No need, was there? I did, really didn't want to apple the... Uh, no, there was absolutely no need. And there we are. Just a casual 3-0. Well done, Sort Jim. of score you see in the chalice all the time. <laughs> yeah, well done, Jim. And like I said, I think those first few turns you played really, really well. I said as it happened, Jim needs to get aggressive here. I wonder if he's got the balls to... 
Um, <laughs> and you did. You even put the uh, you know the almost defenseless move ten piece in some risk. Yes, yeah, that using was using it as part of the screen yeah. there to tighten him up. I liked that. I thought it was all really really good, uh, and I respected the fact that you didn't uh, play like a total coward that part. <laughs> <laughs> and Arya here with some useful criticism could have scored, could have could have finished five now. It could have done. It could have done in Arya, but also he could have made more cars with his tackle pommer, right? Um, as it was, as it was, <coughs> we suffered three cars off only twenty-seven blocks. If yep. that, that 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 had cost him like probably about five blocks with a pommer, um, yep. and certainly there was no chance of making good players with a pommer. So um, you mean the AV six pommer that you'd already casualtyed once, and he wasted his apothecary in healing. That <laughs> yeah. One. Yep, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. The one that you could easily well, have banged out any time if you'd actually chosen to sort of go at him. But I, I, I get that you didn't. You were 2 nil up. At that point, 2 nil up, you're thinking, I've got all my elves. I'd quite like them for the next round. And that's not unreasonable. Well, yeah. YouTube, if you dislike the way Jimmy played the second half, don't forget to leave a dislike. <laughs> Just Fuck interact. You. Please interact with him, YouTube. <laughs> Write yep. a comment. Say how much you hate him. That YouTube loved that just as much. Go on Reddit, down vote like, him. He loves and then that. Come back tomorrow and unlike, and then change your mind again, come back and like again. They <laughs> love all of that. Just oh, click things. Dude. Click Anything things. Anything for the algorithm. Please <laughs> click things. But 11 SBP for fun, folks. That is amazing, isn't it? That is. <laughs> it is. That That's is halfway to him being useful. Yes. Yes. That, I mean, that would be brilliant. Um, so yeah, that that was it. That was half a game, wasn't it? It was pretty good. And yeah, I did, I did, li I did like the way I like kind of tightened the shrew and in, putting these move ten, so it was kind of doing something, but also not really in danger. I, I like, I like my player too. Thanks, PC. <laughs> Without sounding just like a big headed dickhead, you know, I, like I did like, I really did like my first turn as well. Yeah, for sure. And then he was just under the cosh after that, wasn't he? And yeah. He didn't. He couldn't really get back, and certainly not the way I mean, he played. He couldn't get back. I flatter myself that, it, you know, I think people know if I hadn't liked it, I'd say that too. So, yeah, I, I genuinely liked what I saw. And if you watch the VOD back, you will find that. That I'm saying, I hope Jimmy does this. And when you did, I went, that's excellent. And here's why. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. What, one wrestler got like minus adjust, minus AV or something. Um, but it's not the end of the world, is it? Uh, and then got 60k, so we'll have 210. Uh, yeah, roll, roll the six. Got seventy k, so on two ten k, so we can buy a, buy a replacement anyway. Maybe even buy three players if I'm up against Dave or, or whatever. I think we'll my see. daughter's just come back from school, and it's as it's GCSE, not GCSE, GCSE season. I just need to have a quick moment with her, but I will be back. Right. Well, thank you very much for the commentary, Purple Chest, and uh, thank you very much as well, Elp Meme. Believe it or not, you are a great Elp. Very funny chap. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.